let me start by saying this map isn't completely perfect, but basically here's the rainfall map that shows rainfall totals over the past 24 hours. So the gist is, here's Allendale that saw the highest rainfall amounts. I put a little red dot there to indicate where the highest rainfall total was on this little map here. Other red splotches indicate where three plus inches of rain fell. And you can generally see that the orange, which represents two to three inches of rainfall, ends up going all the way to Devil's Lake. So the Red River Valley and Devil's Lake region saw plenty of rain coming down between yesterday and today. And we're still expecting some more rain as we head into tonight. Scattered showers will linger into tomorrow and some wildfire smoke will also return heading into tomorrow, but we will see warmer temperatures and some sun this weekend. So what's going on? Well, we have this uh, uh, what we would call a precipitation shield, if you will, making its way down into southeastern North Dakota, leading to uh, steady rain in Jamestown and in Fargo. Meanwhile, we just have a few isolated showers in Lakes Country, and that's connected to this area of low pressure right here, which is moving southeast. And as it does, it'll take that moisture with it and start dragging in cooler air from Canada down, leading to a mild cloudy Friday. So looking at our First alert forecast. Here's the rain represented on a model here. That rain continues moving southeast as we head into the overnight hours. But by around 6 to 7 o'clock, that precipitation shield is out of our region, leaving behind isolated to scattered showers during the morning and early afternoon hours, along with some patchy fog during the morning hours. The rain showers will continue during the afternoon, so some areas will see rain, other areas will stay dry. But it's not until about 11 o'clock that pretty much all of our region ends up drying out and we stop seeing rain coming down. How much rain are we expecting? Well, we're probably looking at another quarter inch to half an inch of rain in some locations, as indicated by the blue and green colors. So not much more rain, but the point is enough to lead to a soggy night. And we'll see another tenth or so inch of rain as we head into the afternoon hours due to those showers. One other thing we're going to have to keep an eye on is wildfire smoke. As that low moves east, it'll drag wildfire smoke from Canada down into a region, leading to lower air quality for Friday night into Saturday. So we will be keeping an eye on air quality to see how it may impact any plants you have. Aside from the rain and wildfire smoke, not much to talk about. Temperatures are mild, being in the 60s across the region, like 67 in Fargo. And the thing is, we will see temperatures improving. We'll see in the upper 70s this Saturday. Sunday, warmer still. And notice that all that red out west expands eastward, moving into the Red River Valley, indicating temperatures in the low 80s. So we'll be in the low 80s throughout next week, uh, but we will see a couple of rain chances for Tuesday and Wednesday. I was telling Russ yesterday, some nice weather for people who have to move into the dorms and do that whole thing. Yeah, that's the good news. <laughs> Sunny skies. Uh, just make sure to drink plenty of water. How you about get, humidity? Humidity? I think humidity should be okay. But so not the oofta? Not the oofta. Okay. That's the point. I haven't memorized the other ratings yet. Uh, uh, I forgot one of the other <laughs> ratings. So for now, just, we'll figure it out. <laughs> just drink plenty of water. You should be okay. All right. Thanks, Joseph. Video games can bring people together in more ways than one. And when we come back, we'll show you how they're doing that.